Um, so welcome everyone to IST Majors Night. Um, you are in the Human Center Design and Development Room. Okay, so first I'm going to quickly um, introduce our panelists. Um, our faculty member for today is Dr. Stephen Haynes. He is the coordinator of HCDD. And we have two students, Noel Fight and Drew Ronk. And then we have a student from the club, UXPA, Lauren Pearl. And then I'm an academic advisor with the IST College, and my name is Megan McDonald. Now we're going to kick it over to Steve to go into um, the HCD major. And then if you have questions along the way, feel free to put them in the chat. We'll answer them at the end, um, or you can just ask at the end. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me? All right, great. Um, okay, so my name is uh, Stephen Haynes. I'm the, uh, as Megan said, the program coordinator for uh, Human Center Design Development. And I've been with the College of IST for 20 years, um, primarily teaching in the various application development programming courses and uh, human computer interaction, user experience courses, and some others, capstone course and some of the entrepreneurship courses as well, but primarily programming and human computer interaction. So HCDD is a new major in the College of IST. Well, it was brand new last year, but I still think of it as, as new. This is year two. Um, and HCDD is for students who want to design, build, evaluate, and evaluate web mobile and other applications, any kind of interactive technologies. Um, we have a significant sort of programming um, curriculum. That's one of the two threads in the major. The second thread is around user experience design and human computer interaction. And um, in that you design, conduct, and interpret data from user studies. So HCDD is, one way to think about the major is that it's version three of what was originally the IST design and development option. So there was version one of that, version two of that. HCDD is version three, now has its own uh, major. Uh, so among the, the primary topics in the major are web and mobile application development, the concept of design thinking, which is sort of a five stage model for thinking about um, uh, you know, understanding users, um, uh, ideating over solutions, defining problems, prototyping and building technologies, and then testing and evaluating them. So we're, we're committed to the idea that um, as developers, we need to understand the sort of uh, social and psychological aspects of technology use. In other words, you know, what people are like uh, as things and or, you know, as people, um, you know, uh, how they use tools and complex technologies, the kind of things they care about. And most importantly, in some ways, um, methods for learning about different different groups of, of, of users and other stakeholders. Um, we have threads on user experience and user interface design and user research methods. So uh, uh, coming up with different ways to learn about um, users and their and their contexts. So this is a sort of more simple, a simpler kind of graph. Um, these are the three major areas that come together in HCDD. And uh, you know, there's a red sort of sweet spot right in the middle. But one way to think about this graph is that, um, and the way that I think about it is that students could end up at different points um, in this graph. So some students might, let's say, um, um, really focus on application development and go on to become software developers or software engineers. Others might um, uh, gravitate towards interaction design and become front-end developers um, and you know web app developers. And uh, others might uh, might focus more on usability evaluation, say you know um, uh, uh, doing an AFA, which I'll talk about in a minute, in something like psychology or anthropology or sociology. Mm -hmm and um, uh, really focusing on understanding um, people and uh, you know, what they do and their uses of technology. Okay, so just a little bit of a justification. Um, unlike some of the other majors, uh, we have kind of a very broad 
potential um, uh, uh, list of, of, of different um, positions that our students go into. So it's a little bit tougher to say, you know, you're going to be a cybersecurity person or you're going to be a data an uh, analysis person. But just so some of the relevant statistics are around uh, software developers and web app developers, you know, the, the, the projections for these are, are really good. Um, user experience design has only recently emerged as a, as a thing, um, uh, as, a, as a category, but it's already got really um, high rankings in terms of the quality, you know, the quality of, of, of the job and the quality, the satisfaction that people have with, with that job. Um, you know, on the on the financial side, all the financials are good. Here's some of the, you know, off the web type statistics. Um, I think within the college, our our first year um, average placement salaries are somewhere in the seventy seventy thousand um, dollars a year. But we have students who graduate um, and start out at at six figures. So um, that's all. This is all good. Um, there's you know no you know, no signs of, of this really slowing down. And we think that as people, um, you know, technology is becoming more pervasive. There's more technology, there's more data, there's more security, there's more privacy issues. And these all require technologies that are easier and more efficient to use. So here's just some of the um, positions that we place people into. You can see it's really kind of, you know, covering a very broad range some people focusing more on development, some people focusing more on user experience, um, people doing consulting and, and business analysis, um, some people doing, um, doing design, pure design, product design, um, uh, all, you know, kind of, kind of all over the place. And um, we're, we're, we're comfortable and happy with that. Again, there's a lot of room for you to sort of um, uh, customize and focus how you, how, you know how you pursue the degree um, to fit your interests, uh, and then the core courses. There's the existing application development thread IST 140, 242. All across the top, um, these courses are all application development courses. So getting deeper and deep, deeper into programming. Some of the, among the new courses, there are um, uh, also some programming courses IST 256 which has actually been on the books a long time, but we've significantly re revised it um, and its approach to web programming. And then human-centered design for mobile computing. So that'll be a mobile development course. And the other courses under the new column, uh, new courses heading are primarily focused on understanding people and their uses of technology. So foundations of HCDD, design practice in HCDD, methods for studying users, and then a capstone course. Um, uh, like some of the other new majors, and eventually all of our majors will have this concept of an application focus area. And so what this is, is kind of think of it, if you like, as a mini minor. It's uh, four courses, 12 credits um, in some focus area um, uh, of your interest. Uh, must include three credits at the 400 level. Um, this is just, uh, this is our current list, but if you look at the bottom, there's this idea of a custom AFA. In other words, if you have some other area that you'd like to spend some significant time uh, uh, digging into, we can, we can uh, facilitate the idea of a custom application focus area. Um, and, and this list is going to evolve as we go forward. And that's me, I think. Thank you, Dr. Haynes. And now we're going to go to Lauren, and she will talk about our UXPA um, club. So hold on, give me one second, and I will share this. Hi, guys. I'm Lauren. I'll start talking. Um, I am an HCDD major, and I'm a sophomore. I'm also the president of UXPA um, Penn State chapter, which is the student organization that correlates to the human centered design and development major. Uh, UXPA is a branch of the International User Experience Professionals Association. Um, so we are connected to them, but we do consulting work as a IST student org. Um, so basically we take on projects from outside organizations or companies and help them either improve on the technologies that they already have or help them when creating a new technology. 
Um, we do a few different things when we are um, helping with the projects. Uh, it could be graphic design, it could be user experience, user testing, um, and a bunch of other stuff, development stuff as well. Uh, so on the side, I just included a few of our projects that we've been working on recently. Um, the first one was with the Penn State Go app during, over the summer, um, specifically with the dining portion of it. We helped um, with the function for students to be able to order food through the app um, in the pandemic environment when they're on campus. Uh, the next one underneath that, the yellow looking one, is a social media company that we are working with right now called Wonder, and they are releasing um, an app that they're creating within the next year. So we're helping them with some user um, testing and some design elements as well. And then underneath that, I included a little graphic that we um, just did for the Penn State Alumni Association uh, for their fall cooking classic event over Zoom. So we made um, almost 30 different designs for them to help them advertise their event and uh, just use the graphic for the event in itself. That's pretty much it. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks, um, guys. I'm going to quickly share um, the screen with our slide of some resources within the college. So here are a couple resources for students. Um, we have the ad assistant director for engagement um, advising. We have drop-in advising as well and career solutions. And then, so if you have any questions, please go in um, the chat or you can unmute yourself and ask your questions. I'll ask a question. <laughs> um, this would be to the diplomats and Lauren. Um, what advice would you give to students who are exploring the college and this major? Um, I can um, say, go ahead now. Okay, I was just going to say if you're not for sure that you like 100% that you want to do this major, I would just take like the first intro class and see if it like sparks your interest at all. Cause that's kind of what I did with my major. I wasn't 100% sure on it. So I just tried out the like first seminar class and I really liked it. So then I decided to like keep going. So I would say just like give it a try and see if you like it at all. I, I definitely agree with Noel on that and want to uh, go a little further and say that when you come in, definitely be sure to take advantage of as many opportunities as you can, even if you join a club or choose to involve yourself with something and you don't end up staying in it. It is totally okay and it's, it's great to get exposure because the College of IST puts out so many opportunities that you are likely to find one that you enjoy if you are interested in a technological position after college. And it looks like we also have a question in the chat. So the question is, if I want to learn about VR, virtual reality, what major or course should I attend? So Dr. Haynes, do you wanna answer this? That's a that's an interesting one. Um, so, uh, you know, w one way to think about VR or AR, augmented reality, is that it's sort of the intersection of uh, artificial intelligence and and human experience design. Um, uh, and so, uh, you know, I, I could see someone who was who was interested in that doing uh, either majoring in HCDD and um, minoring in data science, doing a minor in data science or an application focus area in, in data science, or 
vice versa. The only issue is we don't have, the HDD doesn't have a minor yet, um, but we are putting, we are putting, um, um, we're taking steps to ensure that data science majors can do an application focus area in HCDD. The idea being that artificial intelligence, big data analytics, et cetera, um, are, you know, th these are complex topics. They often present complex interface problems. Um, and so we want, you know, we, we want to uh, um, work with them. So sorry if that's kind of a long-winded answer. It's almost like you, you could, you know, major in, in one area and and minor or application focus area, AFA, in the other area. That would be my advice. It, to some extent, depends on on where your strengths and interests are. Um, and so, Jen, sense. if that's an interest for you, I was just going to say, like, you can always talk to your advisor, too, so you can kind of find out about the different, like, data science with the HCD focus and vice versa. So in order to learn about VR, should you learn about data science too? Well, the, the reason I say data, uh, uh, data science is because um, artificial intelligence in IST is, is within the data science group. Um, I, I believe that they're in the process of proposing an actual major, but that'll probably, I don't know, Megan, you might know more about that than I do. I heard it, it's there's some like back and forth about which college is going to do it, but there are upper level data science courses that are in artificial intelligence. Right. Um, yeah. So I would I would look look at the courses under both data science um, and HCDDD, and I and I really do believe that you know um, depending on your specific experiences and strengths and interests you know the 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 route is some combination of of data science and uh, hcdd 